What has really been a pretty awesome experience thus far has kind of taken a turn for the worse. Old school elevator vibes. Just checked out of our hotel, which was the Whitehall Hotel, and we didn't, I didn't really read a lot of reviews on it before, and I'm kind of glad I didn't, because the first thing that shows up when you search it, Whitehall Hotel Haunted. We just got on the CTA, and we are heading towards the Capital Coffee Shop. The tall buildings kind of impede on your cell phone service, and so the little dot you are on Apple Maps just jumps around the whole time, and so we got off on the wrong bus stop. But it's okay, it's just a little short walk. We are at Capital Coffee and Bakery, Eatery, one of the two. Look at this yogurt dish I got. This is the fanciest presentation of yogurt that I've ever gotten. It's like they scooped it out with an ice cream scoop. But we are sitting here for a while to get breakfast until we have to go to the Amtrak or the Union Station to catch the Amtrak, which will get us home tonight, finally. This is like the longest 48 hour travel day that we've ever had. back on our bus we're gonna go get some snacks and groceries for the train but it is cold today it doesn't help that we're in the shade the wind is like coming through the buildings perfectly and I have holes in my jacket <laughs> so you see this really tall building right here this is the 12th tallest building in the world this is Willis Tower also known as Sears Tower and you can actually go up to the top. If you guys aren't familiar with the Amtrak system, it can basically take you anywhere in the United States any popular city, any area that you want to go. Uh, there's a lot of regions up north you can kind of go through some of the national parks, uh, through the Midwest, down south, and even down as far as New Orleans. So we're starting here in Chicago, and we're going to go all the way through the Midwest here, down south, towards Newton, which is our stop. So it's going to take roughly around 12 hours. Should be really interesting. Uh, excited to see what the Amtrak has to offer. station it's a beautiful station it's about 50 years old but pretty much every train from Chicago leaves from here I think there's around 300 trains a day Amtrak there's a, the metro line and then one other metro service runs from here but we are gonna go find our train And if you pay for the sleeper car, you can actually access this lounge. and then you tell them if you're, where you're going and they'll show you to the right car. And then when you get to your car, that attendant will give you your seat numbers. So we requested to sit on the top. And the people here at Amtrak are super helpful. Um, they guided us all the way here, had no issue finding our train. I think we are set to make our trip across, across two states. I know you're all very concerned about what we got at Trader Joe's. I got my first kombucha in over three weeks. Very important. I swear by it. Pea snacks, plantain chips, apples, and of course we had to get something unhealthy. So we get little chocolate mousse eggs. So that should be enough to last us 
12 hours. I drank my kombucha and half the water, and I have to go to the bathroom. So this is the perfect time for a bathroom tour. Beautiful. See, so we have the toilet here. I think that it actually flushes. You got towels, tissues, and a soap. It's like, it's like on something. Good size and a toilet that looks clean and flushes. I just sprayed the crap out of the camera. Okay, update on the sink. Be super careful when you press it down because it's extremely powerful and I sprayed the whole entire, the whole entire room I sprayed, watch. And if your hands in there, it like creates a ricochet effect. And we also have cups and ice water. We are sitting on the lower level, like we said earlier. So you get these nice little steep and skinny staircases. <laughs> I thought it was gonna open that way. <laughs> we are in the observation deck area, which is by far the best part of this train. You have floor to ceiling windows and you can see all of your surroundings. Granted, we are in the middle of Illinois and we will be going through Iowa and then Kansas. So our views won't be the best, but if you take this train all the way to California, you'll go through Colorado and New Mexico. Like I'm imagining this, if you took the train to the glacier stop, this would be so cool to have this perspective. So the last place we actually rode something similar to this was in Switzerland. Good nostalgic feel that we have coming back to this kind of train. We're just enjoying the beautiful views of Illinois. <laughs> One thing that's really nice, obviously, is being able to get up and move around. You know, you go on a plane and you're only going from the back to the front. But here, you can go all the way through the observation deck. You can chill in your seat for a while. And not to mention all the legroom that we have has been great. It's one of our favorite things I think we've done yet in terms of U.S. travel. This trip, Chicago to Newton, usually costs around 80 bucks a person. We ended up getting a two-for-one special, so after taxes and everything, we only paid $50 a person to take a 12-hour train ride. These seats are huge. As you can see, I can stick my feet all the way out without even touching the seat in front of us. The front part of the seat goes back really far it can go back farther, but I don't want to crush anybody. And then the bottom part of the seat also comes up. It's got a nice little bed here. Each set of two seats has two wall outlets. So each one of these seats has a pull-down tray table, just like a plane does. But look at this guy. Insane. That's so much space. I am a huge fan of this leg room. This is this is the best it's ever been. <laughs> Some of the Amtrak trains have Wi-Fi. This one doesn't, but some of the more updated ones do. We're somewhere here in Iowa. I think Ashley read the town and it said it was Sandwich, Iowa. Stepping off the train to get some fresh air. It's not bad for being microwaved, but I think it's worth like maybe three dollars <laughs> max. So we are somewhere northeast in Missouri, and we are coming south towards Kansas City. It is currently 2:57 a.m. What has really been a pretty awesome experience thus far has kind of taken a turn for the worse. The train has been delayed. We didn't really know. We were scheduled, I think, to get in around 2.40 a.m. And so, yes, it is now 3 a.m. They have not said anything over the intercom about the delay. In fact, the only way that I found out about the delay was by going to their app. At the top, it just says delayed. 
there. We're currently in Emporia, which is about two hours north. We're just waiting. A little update. I actually ended up giving Amtrak a call and basically told them that we are the train that I was on. It is now 3.33 and we haven't heard any word from the people of Amtrak. Nothing over the intercom. There's no more attendance going around anywhere. The cafe is closed. It's almost like they're hiding or something. I called Amtrak, told them that I was on a train, haven't been told anything as to why it's been stopped. So we're moving, it is officially 3.49 a.m. So I've not been told why I'm so late. <laughs> what an insane trip. <laughs> we just arrived here at the Wichita bus station. We even got off the bus and the guy goes, it's usually $28, but it's free for you guys. Because we had such a weird journey getting here. It was insane. We also uh, had no money. No money. Like it would have cost us money, but we didn't. There was a bus waiting when we got off the train, and and we were like, "Oh, you're going to Wichita?" And he's like, "Yes." So he just had us get on. We didn't know how much it cost. That concludes our whole travel day from Chicago on the Amtrak to Wichita. Thank you. <laughs> thanks and for watching. Thanks for watching, and good night. <laughs>